So uh, just servicing the Tahatsu outboard. Um, just replace the anode first. That's all I've done so far, uh, and uh, remove the um, remove the lower gear um, box, I suppose you could call it, where the uh, water impeller is. I'm just going to take this off, um, and inside there is my um, impeller, my water pump, um, which draws water up through the bottom there, through this little pipe. And then up into there's a pipe which runs up inside the shaft and then into the engine and then out the pee hole out the back. So that is the gear lever, um, with, um, reverse, neutral, and forward. And then you've got the actual dr drive shaft there, um, which engages up in the top of the engine there so when you actually undo this lower casing um, you pull this out and um, the only thing which is left on there is the gear lever and the uh, drive shaft uh, the water tube is uh, remains up inside the actual um, outboard shaft if you like inside the casing so yeah we'll get this off and uh, and change it all out so um, yeah, just unmove the screws from the uh, impeller pump housing, and uh, the water pipe pops out of the uh, of the little porthole there, and then you just bring that over the top of the, uh, the drive shaft, right over the top, and then you can get into the into the bottom section. Um, there is a very small uh, engaging pin on the um, Im impeller. Um, to, to keep it spinning against the uh, drive shaft. If you haven't got a spare one of them, it's worth just bearing in mind that if you lose that, you um, you lose the ability for the pump to actually work with the shaft spinning. So it's just something to be aware of. Now, if there's been any amount of grease left from its install, it should just stay up against the uh, drive shaft like that. Um, and then that's how it falls over the top if you don't have that there it'll just free spin so you can see there it's not even really and if you have the impeller over the top with the drive shaft spinning it'll just do nothing remove the um the three gaskets uh just that maintain the seal on the water pump um there's a, a lower gasket, a metal gasket in the middle, and then another uh, paper gasket on top. Um, so I've just removed them, and most of it looks okay. There's just a little bit of material just to uh, to clear through. But you can see that I don't flush this through very often with fresh water like I should. Um, so there is a bit of grime in the bottom there. Just been cleaning that out a little. So I've just cleaned up this surface a little bit better. Um, it's quite a lot of old gasket stuck on there, so that needs to all come off as best as uh, as possible. Um, and I've just got the impeller casing there, and there's a small little um, metal casing that needs to come out. Uh, let me change that, actually. It doesn't look too bad, um, but it's uh, worth just changing out anyway. As you can see I've got the new pin uh, just uh, held in with a bit of grease there. Uh, up against the flat section of the uh, drive shaft and now I'm going to put the uh, new impeller over and uh, into position um, and uh, yeah just have to align that small pin with the groove on the impeller okay so that's the new uh, impeller on the um, into the uh, onto the shaft um, just got to make sure that the uh, the gasket um holes uh, are all clear and uh, if you've put one on the wrong way around as i've just found out um you won't have a clear path there so just make sure that they are on the right way around um like the old one here you can see there these need to be kept all clear so that's that in position and now i've just got to get the housing on okay so that's the uh, impeller pump housing uh, back on and uh, bolted down. When you when you tighten these up, do um, do one first and then work sort of diagonally so you get an equal amount of pressure over the the top there, and you should be fine. 
So, uh, time to get this back on. Um, this is uh, the tricky bit because uh, all of this needs to be aligned appropriately. I've only got 3% left on my battery uh, on my phone, so uh, um, yeah, I probably won't be able to cover it in detail, but um, essentially um, all three um, uh, tubes need to align to where they need to go. So, uh, the gear lever needs to go back into um, its sort of bracket on, through the uh, pin inside the uh, shaft um, then the water pipe needs to align into the actual um, uh, pump housing and the gear uh, or the drive shaft needs to uh, obviously um, be realigned at the top um, and you can sort of do that by um, sort of getting it into position where it's met its uh, contact and then and then turning the prop Okay, so I ran out of uh, a bit of battery last night, so apologies for that. Uh, but I managed to get the oil, um, the gearbox uh, oil changed out, um, and the um, the engine oil change. I'll just run through that briefly. Um, so yeah, after I got the lower case and bolted back on again, um, it's just a case of uh, removing the um, two bolts at the top, letting it drain. It's only a very small amount of oil, and then um, and then just filling it up with the uh, supplied tube of uh, gearbox uh, grease um, or oil um, until it comes out of the top. So you apply it from the bottom pin, and then uh, <coughs> and then when it comes out of the top, um, yeah, put the put the screws back in again with the new washers, and and you're away. And uh, with the uh, actual engine oil, um, you've just got a little fitting there, uh, undo that, and then about half a litre of oil will drain out. Uh, just undo the uh, cap, filler cap at the top, just to let it drain out, um, and then you're good to go. It's probably easy if you rotate the um, the engine to a 90 degree angle, so you've got a clear um, path for the oil to flow and not all over the top of your, your, um, your mount there. New um, fuel filter, just in case of removing these these clips, um, and then uh, yeah, yeah, just replacing it in in that orientation. Um, probably worthwhile me uh, getting some new clips on these because these are starting to get quite rusty. And then the final piece is um, I was recommend. I mean, it's not it's not part of the certain usual service pack, but the thermostat, um, especially in salt water um, environments. Um, the thermostat can get um, pretty badly uh, messed up, especially if you're, you're not uh, cleaning um, your engine with fresh water every single time. Um, and in any case, you can it does suffer from um, corrosion. So uh, they're about thirty quid. So yeah, I'm gonna go and replace this. It's, um, actually uh, under the uh, the throttle lever to um to to the carburetor so um but it's mounted with the actual uh, thermostat housing is um below it here with two bolts um at either end so don't bother taking any of this lot off all i've done is undone the screws and then it just frees up like that and you can access the the thermostat quite easily um, just be careful with that linkage because when you put it back on, just make sure that the pins are in where they should be either side. So, um, but yeah, that is the thermostat. I actually just moved this out of the way down here somewhere. Just move that, put that there, out the way, and that just sits in its little cuddy hole. You can see there. Um, obviously that regulates the amount of cooling water into the engine um, based on the temperature so you can see that if that didn't if that started to seize up then um, yeah you're going to have problems with your cooling to your engine which potentially end, end up being a, a, a written off engine if it's not, not doing uh, its job properly. So just put that to one side. Talking about new thermostat, the uh, gasket's all cleaned up around the um, the edges there. Um, there was a little bit sort of um, left over from previous. Just make sure that you clear that all up, otherwise it'll leak. Um, and yeah, just put it in the hole. Just make sure it's in. 
Let's check for any debris. And uh, put the gasket on and uh, and fit the housing back onto the um, the casing. So this tire is about three months old, and I've already got a puncture. So I am back on the boat and uh, just about to start wiring up my Tahatsu for the first time. Um, it has got an alternator on, so. Um, Apparently it gives about 3 amps, or about mid throttle, so the plan is to um, bring a, th this lead which came with it um, round and back into the battery. The only issue is this isn't long enough so I'm going to have to pair it up midway. So I've also installed this uh, little battery monitor from, uh, these come off eBay, they're a lot cheaper than the uh, um, more expensive type, uh, can't name names obviously. Um, but this has done the trick so far. It's nothing fancy. It's a fairly standard uh, battery monitor, um, and I've just installed that just to see if I need to increase my my battery bank at all. So I've just fed through that um, factory uh, made cable through first because it's got the connectors to the watertight connectors to get connect onto the um, engine, and I've just snipped off the the battery terminal ends because I'm going to have to um, put different type uh, connectors on there to for the extension um so i've just rooted it through the locker and uh yeah i've just got to feed it through some of these um yeah cable ties and stuff and then bring it around here and through the bisque bulkhead and then into the battery so it looks a bit messy at the minute but once it's all in uh, in place um i'll tidy it up and get this looking as smart as possible i would have liked it uh probably some just uh yeah, two core cable, um, but I don't have any of that. I've got this tinned, uh, tinned cable instead, which is uh, just as good. It just looks a bit funny when there's two separate wires. Um, but yeah, needs must today. A later date, I'll probably uh, put something, uh, I suppose, a little bit more uh, better looking in if you like. But for now, that will do the job. Okay, so it's all in. It's uh, as tidy as I can get it, to be honest um even if it is a bit of a mess um i might get some of that um like wire uh cable wrap that you can get um just that little kind of spiral round stuff and then just wrap it around just to make it a bit neater um but yeah that is all connected to the battery um and negative is through the um negative is through uh the the shunt for the for the charger so what i'll do is I'll fire it up now, I'll fire the engine up and just see what sort of uh, charge I'm getting off the uh, regulator. So I've got the engine running, um, it's just a idle at the minute, it's about like n tenths of nothing in the way of charge, uh, but I'll just bring that up now and uh, should see something going going into it. seeing any charge on that uh, it's a bit strange um, maybe it's because the battery's fully charged and uh, the regulator on the outboard is uh, picking that up and it's just not it's just not uh, it's not charging it mm. just a, a brief thing I'm just prepping up for a trip around the UK this summer um, so there's a lot of work going on at the minute um, sort of from a planning perspective and also from a boat sort of preparation perspective um it's all going to kick off in june uh, i'm going to try and get down for the uh, start of the jester baltimore challenge uh, in june um i think that's starting on the 18th so hopefully all being well uh, i'll leave about sort of 10 days before that and um maybe make a bit of a trek along the the south coast um spend a bit of time on the um in the, in the solent maybe go across to uh, Alderney, which I'd really like to do, um, and then uh, over to Plymouth. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm uh, really excited about it. Um, there's lots of, um, as I said, preparation going on, um, and I just seem to be spending money left, right, and centre. But um, that is uh, boats, unfortunately. But yeah, keep a keep an eye out for uh, for sort of future sort of videos coming up on that. And um, yeah, uh, I have got another sort of two weeks here in Shotley. 
um, before I head round to my river mooring. So um, I'm kind of trying to make the like best of it as possible, sort of uh, with ease of access and uh, getting to and from uh, the car because it's so easy here. You can just literally like if you forget something, you can just like literally just nip back to it and uh, yeah, pick up. Like I did my drill earlier. I like left my drill in the car, so um, yeah, uh, probably. Probably worth getting uh, a, a drill permanently sort of positioned on board somewhere, um, especially for this trip because uh, there's always something that needs doing um, or fixing. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.